Hello everyone, I'm Wolf Pitts, an artist, illustrator, and designer, and today we're going to talk about something that has become a major obstacle in my life, artist burnout. Working a job that doesn't fulfill me creatively is one of the biggest contributors to feeling burned out. My job is fine, my coworkers are great, my boss is fine, but it's not financially stable. I do what I can with freelance projects to get by, but it's very stressful. Being forced to work without any days off is too much for me. Dedicating a lot of time to something that doesn't feel worth it can easily make you feel burned out and then your efforts are pointless. It's a lot of time and energy for a little reward and compensation. For me, this has made it hard to find motivation to create anything. Fear is also one of the biggest obstacles I face. Fear of not being good enough, fear of wasting supplies and materials, trying to paint or make new things, and fear of just trying to survive. This fear has sent me into a deep depression and it has zapped all of my creativity it's made me feel as if my ideas are stupid and that my hard work and effort has gone unnoticed and unappreciated. I've been here more than once, but I always seem to forget in the moment how to snap out of it. Sometimes just a change of pace and scenery can drastically improve your mood and creativity. For me, I like to go skate with my friends. I've been skateboarding most of my life and it's one of the few things that truly just makes me happy. Other things that improve my mood and inspire me are hiking and exploring abandoned, weird, and usually spooky places around New England. Growing up in New England, I always loved exploring these places, and some of my fondest memories with my friends are in these crumbling buildings and old trails. Another thing that really gets me inspired and excited to get out and make things is graffiti. I've been painting my entire life and something about painting anything as big as possible is super fun, especially with your friends. These days I paint a legal wall that's not too far from where I live. It's nice to just unwind and let loose. When I can't be outside, I still love just seeing a movie or hanging out in a coffee shop, sketching my sketchbook. It's important to remember that burnout is not the end. It's just a hurdle that we can all overcome. For me, the best thing I can do is focus on my happiness and the creativity will come back slowly. I can't guarantee that the things that make me feel inspired and happy will work for you, but I'm sure you have your own interests and hobbies. Make time for them when you can. Thank you for watching this video. I hope some of these things help you snap out of your creative burnout. I just saw this, I thought that said for a second. <laughs> You're just gonna start piecing pierogi? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I would get someone's internet club for that. <laughs>